Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. Today's video, I have some really adorable Dollar Tree pillows, and I really hope that you enjoy this video and you stick around by subscribing to this channel, because once you hit subscribe, we instantly become best friends and turn that notification bell so you know every time I post a video. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start with these placemats from Dollar Tree. They come in tons of different colors and the best part is, is that the back is one solid color so you can use the back and the front. Now I'm gonna use a seam ripper to open up a tiny little piece. I got this at Walmart, but you can get this anywhere that sells a needle and thread basically. So for the ticket itself, I'm just showing you since there is a contrast, but you can just rip the ticket off. When you get to a corner, just start putting your little seam ripper in and pushing upward for the thread to break. Now you don't need to make a very very big hole, you just need to make one large enough to where your hand can fit in so that you can easily stuff this with no issue and rearrange all of your stuffing, whatever it is you're using. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this wide enough for my hand to fit and then I'm just going to leave it alone. Now because this placemat is fabric on fabric, they do add an adhesive, so I did take a ruler and a spatula and basically tried to separate the two pieces of fabric. The other ones don't have this issue, but definitely the fabric on fabric ones. The other ones are like that weird nylon, which I guess is still a fabric, but you know what I mean. This is all bound together, so I'm just pushing that apart so that my life is easier later on. So now that I can freely put my hand in, I am going to use this wine bottle bag. When I saw this at Dollar Tree, I really thought that it was going to be a lot wider. I don't know why. So I kind of broke the back just to see how wide it would be. I was going to go back and get another one to do back and front. But to be honest with you, it really wasn't worth it. It was going to be a really narrow pillow. So I just cut it down the middle and tried to see what I can work with here. And the only thing that I can think of was taking the actual collar up top, cutting it down, and using that as the little middle part of Santa's suit. Now, to take this apart, I did start with scissors, and then I ended up with my seam ripper. If you can get this fabric somewhere else, definitely do that. It would probably be a lot less messy than taking apart this bag. It does stop shedding one after a while, but there will be some shedding, as you can see. And the seam ripper is definitely making my life a whole lot easier. So definitely consider investing in one. They're super duper cheap. I'll link one below, but they also sell it at Walmart. Thankfully, this was long enough to fit the width of the pillow. And I'm just using a ruler to figure out where I want it placed. So just, you know, measure the top and the bottom. It's not going to look perfectly straight, especially since I'm not gluing the whole thing down, just the top and the bottom. And I was trying to salvage that little buckle on the wine bag, but it was just way too small. So I did have one of these from Dollar Tree and the felt does come off. So I removed the one on the elf and it looked pretty cute, but I decided to go ahead and try a different approach. So I did this with a glue gun and I glued this down, but if you wanna use a needle and thread, you can definitely do that, even some fabric fuse. I'll show you all the options in just a bit that you can use to bound all these pillows together. So now I am going to take that little buckle that I had, and instead of keeping it yellow, I'm gonna take some Dollar Tree ribbon. This is the shiny ribbon, and I am just gonna cover that little buckle up just so it looks a little bit more interesting. And I'm not doing anything fancy, I am just cutting it into strips, covering that up, and then covering the little middle part. So now I'm gonna use some satin ribbon in black for the belt. And since I am using hot glue, I'm just gonna kind of glue this way so there's no seam. But like I said, you can stitch that into place or use fabric fuse. You do not have to use hot glue. I'm just doing it this way because I know a lot of people prefer no sew pillows. So now I'm going to tuck it into the other side. And I didn't do it all the way around because I want this to be reversible. And I'm gonna hot glue my buckle. Now to stuff, you can use a lot of things. I ended up using polyfill because I have some, but you can always use an old pillow and just open that up or buy a new one from Walmart. They're super duper cheap and just use the stuffing. It's a lot cheaper than buying polyfill. You can use old clothes that you were no longer wearing. There's so many possibilities, even bags if you are considering this like an outdoor thing. 
possibilities are endless. Dollar Tree used to sell tiny bags of polyfill, but if you do find them, it is not worth it. Just go with an old pillow if you have one or a new cheap pillow from Walmart or Goodwill. So I'm gonna stuff this really well and make sure that I get the corners. And when I reach the end, I'm gonna go ahead and turn in the seam and hot glue it in place or stitch it, whatever is comfortable for you. So now when you're done, you have the super cute Santa suit, which is also a reversible. And I think that this is so adorable. Just make sure that you wipe off all the fluff, which is pretty simple, by the way. You can just use a Dollar Tree lint roller. Now for my second one, I am putting a green mat down just so you can see the contrast. I'm using a white placemat from Dollar Tree, and this one does have a shiny finish. I want a small one, so I'm just going to fold it in half, and I'm going to make sure to fold it really well. I didn't use an iron for this. You can bind it together using Fabric Fuse, Heat and Bond, which is just... A no sew method you just heat that up and then you put it where the seam is and iron it again or something of that nature like I said I didn't want to use an iron or you can hot glue it or just hand stitch it Dollar Tree does have a little sewing kit so you can even buy that at Dollar Tree but I am going to actually do this the right way so I am using little pins to put this together no matter what method you're using I highly recommend pinning this first so that it is nice and straight when you finally do use whatever method you want I'm gonna go ahead and sew this don't worry everything I'm doing you can do with hot glue heat and bond fabric fuse whatever you want you can design your pillow however you want. However, I find these adorable ornaments from Dollar Tree. You just have to pop a personal picture in there and you're good to go. So I'm gonna use this one and I would have used a smiling picture of Ari, but I didn't have one big enough. So this will do for now, but you are able to take it out and put it back in. Now to put this together, you can hot glue it, you can stitch it, you can use your fabric fuse, whatever you want, and that is exactly what I'm gonna use, my fabric fuse. So I'm using a spatula for this simply because it's just a lot quicker than using the little nozzle. But for little tiny parts like the candy cane, I did go ahead and use the nozzle so it doesn't spread everywhere. I'm gonna press it down and let it dry really well. And while that's drying, I forgot to actually put something in the middle so it doesn't seep to the back of the pillow. Now, instead of leaving it like this, I decided that I wanted to add some trim to the side. Now, normally when you're sewing, you would do this to the inside and you would sew inside out, but I am just going to go ahead and put something on top because there's really no seam to hide. Since this is a placemat that's already been sewn, there are no rough edges. So for my little ribbon trim, and this ribbon is from Dollar Tree, I'm just going to tuck it in to the top. So I'm gonna measure out how much I want, and then I'm gonna cut it down and take that little piece and tuck it in to the very top so you don't see that. So I'm tucking it in and then I'm pinning it down and then I'm going all the way around and doing that to the back side as well. And like I said, you can use hot glue for this. You can use whatever you want. I'm just going to, you know, use my sewing machine because it's just been collecting dust. Now, I'm not a professional. I am, don't know what I'm doing, but I am going all the way around. And instead of actually tilting my fabric and going to the other side, I'm just doing piece by piece just to make it a little easier for me. And when I get to the top, you can use this as a little clutch, which is what I realized, but when I got to the top, I just stopped right there so that I can stuff it. Now, like I said, you can stuff it using polyfill, an old pillow. Those tiny little Dollar Tree pillows would fit perfectly if you wanna make this a cover instead of just an individual pillow. And when you finally fill everything up, you can go ahead and hand stitch it or you can just continue with your hot glue or fabric fuse method. It is totally up to you. Just make sure that you get all of the corners. And when you're done, you have this super duper cute personalized pillow, which I think is adorable. For the e.l.f. pillow, you could use this placemat from Dollar Tree or this one, which is reversible. I decided to go with this one because it was a brighter green. Now, this is that weird nylon on fabric thing that I was talking about. So when I was ripping the seam, 
I actually ended up ripping it just a bit. So just be really, really careful. Instead of doing that, make sure that you are going upward with your seam ripper. You'll see it in just a second. I do have a tiny rip, but no big deal. It is covered up later on. And you do want it big enough to where your hand fits comfortably so you don't accidentally rip even more. Now this one isn't bound together on the inside like the last one, so you don't have to use a spatula or anything to break it apart, so that's less work. I found this adorable tulle skirt at Dollar Tree, and it is wide enough to cover the entire pillow if you remove the actual elastic band. I had no intention on covering back and front, but you'll see what happened. So with some scissors, I cut down the middle, I removed the tag, and then I actually made it a little shorter so that you could see what I'm going to do next. I really didn't like how long this was, so this is really, really easy just with some scissors go all the way across. Now, if I would have known that I made this mistake, I wouldn't have doubled up on this, and you'll see in just a second. So I cut all the way around, and then I figure out where the middle of the pillow is, and I add a little dab of hot glue. You can, of course, add a little stitch instead of hot glue, but the reason I say I messed up is because I had all intention on using the other side of this pillow. So I'm going ahead and tucking in the rest of the tool so it looks a little thicker. And I'm securing it to both of the ends. And when I finally realized that I was using the other side, it was a little too late. So technically, this one is reversible as well. This year, Dollar Tree has these adorable little elf feet ornaments. I think they're so cute. They come where the feet are red or the feet are green. This is the one that I found. So I went ahead and actually cut down the legs completely because I figured I can space them apart a little bit more if I cut them. Make sure that you're cutting above the seam so that the stuffing doesn't go all over the place. And this is where I realized that it was the wrong side. So I flipped over my placemat and thank goodness I had another skirt because it was way too stuck on the other side. I did the same thing and just placed it where I wanted it and started adding my hot glue to the ends. And then I went ahead and added my little feet. So this is really easy. You just figure out where you want it and then just add a dab of glue or you stitch it in place depending on what you're using. I'm sorry if I sound repetitive, but I know that people don't sit through these videos completely, so I don't want anybody saying, well, you should have stitched this. That is totally a suggestion. So now that these are in place, I think the this looks really cute as is, but I'm gonna go ahead and add another detail, which is this Dollar Tree little elf headband. These are glued into place, so you are going to have to use some scissors to cut this down and be really, really delicate because if not, it can look a little funky. And once I get it off of the headband, I'm just going to glue it on the top. Now, this is pretty sturdy, so you want to glue it a little low so that it stands up a little, but not too low to where it looks awkward. So I just glued it using my hot glue like I have been doing for all of the tutorials. And then once that was in place, I'm gonna take that little thing, stuff it like I did all of my other stuff, and hot glue it in place. If you're not digging the bow, you can always make another one using the Dollar Tree ribbon, but when you're done, you have this adorable reversible pillow, as well as a little Santa suit pillow and a personalized adorable little gingerbread one. So I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, and as usual, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you so much, and I will hopefully see you on the next one.